Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We continue to speak about React Context and React Hooks. In the last lesson, we created the skeleton of our application. In this lesson, first we will write some JSX code and later we will speak about useState hook. So let's begin and first we will open this test.html file. This file is our HTML and CSS template and you can find the download link in the description. So first we will copy this for link. I came and copy this for link with Ctrl C and I go to the public folder and inside the public folder index.html I will copy this link, all of this link below the title tag. Let's a little bit adjust the links here. These four links, the first one is related with Google Fonts, the second one is related with Bootstrap, the third one is related with Material Icons, and the last one is related with Font Awesome CSS. So we can also change the title of application from React App to Manage Employees. Let's go back to our template, and here you can see some JS links but we won't use them because later we will use react bootstrap library for tool tips and for the models so we don't need js files later we will speak about detail and let's go down and find the html part of the document so i will copy this three div uh, container Excel div, table responsive and table wrapper. Copy this link and I go to do app.js and first let's erase this class app div and I paste this three div and I will close. I will use three closing div first, second and third close div to close these divs and with Ctrl A, select all document and format document. Here is our app.js. I save this file. Before go back to our template, we also have to change this class to class names. So select the class and with Ctrl D, I select all these three class and I change with class name with capital N. Save the file again and turn back to our template. For our employee list.js, first I will copy this table title div with Ctrl C and come here and I paste this file and a little bit adjust. Okay, now I go back our template and also I will copy table, table head and the first table row, T body and the second table row. Here I will copy this file with Ctrl C and I paste here. Let's a little bit adjust also this one with top. I came here so table head will be one inside. T body will be same hierarchy with T head and one table row. Now I will cover with the closing text this employee. So first let's take this one here. First let's close the table row tr and then later I will close tbody and finally I will close table with closing table tag. As you can see we are receiving an error message. The reason is that this table title div and this table has some hierarchy but in the gsx we have to turn one main div to solve this problem, we can use React Fragments. Fragments let us group a list of children without adding extra nodes to the DOM. So we can come here to the top of the code and write react.fragment and close this, but this react.fragment has to cover the, all the JSX code and I will save the file and now we are receiving an error message because we have to import this React. We will do that with import React from 
React library and after the save everything looks okay. But now we have the shorter version of this React fragment. We can use empty tag. Let's erase React fragment and erase from here and save. It is working again and now we don't need to import React. Save the file and everything looks like okay. So for the employees part, employees gist, I open the employees gist and I go back our template and here I will copy this table data with control C and I will paste control V. We are receiving this error message again. So we will cover with empty tags. Open and closing empty tag and this table data will be save the file and let's go back our application so everything is working now we have finished our JSX code and now we can speak about hooks so first question what is a hook let's open our template and I want to speak about our template what was the purpose of our template to manage employees right so we can add new employee, we can edit employee, and we can delete employee. We can always change our employee numbers and properties. To handle this change, we have to know about the state at the mentioned time. Hooks are generally our functions that let us working with React state and lifecycle features from function components. The first hook is we will talk about is the use state hook. We use this hook for managing state in a functional component. In our case, the state is information of our employees. Let's write some code. Let's go to employee list component. First, we will invoke use state hook with initial data like use state and invoke this function. Here, we will copy initial data. For initial data, I create an initial.txt file. This is the R initial information you can copy this information from the github link now i paste this initial data this use state hook returns an array with two elements let's write this array and then explain const array the first element will be employees and the second element will be set employees the first element is our current state and the current state in our case is the employee's information, which is this initial data. And the second element is set employees. Set employees actually is a function. This function allows us to update the state if we need it and save the file. After save the file, this use state imported from React library automatically. Now let's go back to our application. And here, this is not our application, this is our template let's close this here is our application and open with inspect let's go to the component parts and in this component part if you click the employee list here you can see that now our state is inside of the hooks and here we have some errors let's check them let's go to the console first ah, we have to change the name of the class to the class name first employee list here we have classes let's select with ctrl d all the classes and then i write class name and then let's go to employee.js also here we forget some classes with ctrl d d d d and i write here class name now refresh our application now we don't have any error let's continue here our employee list.js we can we can send this employee's information to the employee component via props let's do like that first let's write here a gsx information so for this reason we are opening a curly braces in curly braces we will send this employee's information but this employee's information is array of an object so i will use a map file to send this employee information individually so i can make here employees.map 
and I open the parentheses, I will send employee, individual employee, like I open here, I write here an arrow function. This employee will be, first I will open a TR table row here and I close this table row. So I don't need this table row J6 out of, of the parentheses. So inside the table row, I will send this employee component. I will put employee component here, but I will add this employee component a prop. A prop will be employee save the file. How can I catch this employee in our employee.js here? I will write an object distracting. Here I will write employee. Let's repeat again. We are sending employees information individually by mapping these employees. And then we are sending as an employee prop. And we are getting, now I forgot 1a, we are getting this employee prop with object distracting method here. And now I can add all the properties. Let's erase this and open and close curly parentheses. I will write his employee.name and then the second one will be employee.email. The third one will be employee.address and the last one will be employee.phone. Employee.phone. Let's save the file employee list and employee. Go back our application and when we refresh the application, you can see our individual employees. But we have a classic unique key prop error. What is the reason of that? For example, now React cannot determine which employee we are mentioning about it. To edit individually, React has to know which child we want to edit. For this reason, we have to add a key for this ally. So I am coming, sorry, not ally this table rows i am adding a key here let's write key will be employee employee dot id save the file and now refresh the file now everything is working this is the end of our lesson in the next lesson we will continue to speak about rack hooks and context api